What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and it looks like law enforcement and the Chatham County Police Department are finally getting fed up with the protesters outside of Quentin Simon's house. I know at this point, they've had to be called to that house at least like 50 to 100 times by now, and they've had it up to here, and they have released a statement now directed directly towards these YouTubers, and we're going to get into that statement in just a moment. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring that notification bell so you can be notified of all of the real updates in this case. And drop a thumbs up. It helps the channel and the video and the algorithm. Now, as most of you all already know, there's been YouTubers protesting outside of Quentin Simon's house for like three weeks now. And there's been crazy stuff going on every single day. And earlier today, one of these YouTubers was arrested for assaulting an elderly woman who was a counter-protester, counter-protesting the protesters outside of Quentin Simon's house. And listen, I'm not trying to take sides in anything that's going on here, but I find it funny that these people who are protesting can't handle the heat. It's like they can't handle what they dish out because this woman showed up and she was counter-protesting the protesters using the same tactics that they use in every case that they go and, you know, stand outside of people's house and protest that. And they cracked and folded within 30 to 45 minutes. And one of them got carted off to jail for assault or simple battery. I don't know the exact charge yet. But this goes to show what I was warning people about a couple of weeks ago. Because this one woman went down to Savannah and she riled all of these people up to protest outside of Quentin Simon's house. And she led them to believe that she was some type of expert at doing these protests and that she knew the law in and out. So these people followed up with her. A lot of them stopped following up with her, but there are still some that follow up with her to this day. But anyways, they followed up with her. And now I believe, what, six or seven people have been locked up behind this situation. None of them are Leilani. None of them are Billy Joe. Six or seven protesters, if that's what you want to call them, have been locked up and are arrested outside of this home for following up with this one person. And it's weird to me because I don't understand how, could, how you could be one of the closest people to this case, literally in the front yard every day, yet you know less about this case than anyone else I see covering it. These people do not spell Quentin's name the right way. These people do not know anything about this case, barely. If you listen to them talk for a few moments, they mispronounce people's names 24 seven. They don't even know where people live. Earlier today, they were protesting outside of the juvenile detention center, trying to get their friend out of jail as if he was a nine year old. They literally went to the wrong jailhouse and protested these people. Yes, they're out there on the front lines, if that's what you want to call it, but they know very, very little about this case. They're all about the spectacle. They're all about yelling and hooting and hollering about things they know nothing about. This woman out there that has convinced people that she's some type of expert has directly basically caused all of these people to go to jail. And some of which... She convinced that, oh, she was going to help them, but they haven't seen a single dollar. You see, people are sending money into these channels. And I don't knock anyone's hustle. Get it how you live. But people have been sending money to bail these people out and to help these people with their legal battles. But they aren't seeing a dollar of that. Earlier today, people were sending money to help bail this YouTuber out. Yet on a live stream, right after announcing that they got like $1,500 to help um, bail this YouTuber out, 
they convince some, some woman who they've had out there following up with them to use her money to do so. So it's an all around crazy situation. But now Chatham County Police Department, they're coming up with a plan to battle it back. Let's see what they have to say because I'm interested about this statement and I haven't read it yet. I saw that they made a statement, but I waited because I wanted to read it for the first time with all of you all so I could give you my natural reaction. But let's go ahead and hop into it. Statement from Chatham County Police Chief Jeff Hadley. Over the last three weeks, while our officers have been focused on finding Quentin Simon, a growing number of people calling themselves protesters have gathered outside of Quentin's home on, on Balcolter Road. While the Chatham County Police Department supports everyone's right to protest peacefully, we also support the rights of citizens to live in a peaceful environment. The people on Buckhalter Road calling themselves protesters have made that nearly impossible. Since October 12th, 2022, when the first YouTube protesters arrived, we have responded to over 50 calls for service in the 500 block of Balkhalter Road, and we have made multiple arrests. This has taken precious resources away from our department at a time when we are focused on the most massive investigation in the history of CCPD. Many of the people claiming to want justice for Quentin have turned his tragic and heartbreaking case into a money-making circus. They have made it impossible for those who live in the area to enjoy the peace and tranquility of their homes. This is unacceptable and it has to stop. Over the next few days, we will be unveiling some measures to limit the disruption to this small community. Neighbors have had to endure more than their fair share of noise, vulgarity, and police presence over the last few weeks. We will do everything we can to once again give them the sense of normalcy. This afternoon, after some of the protesters moved to Chatham County Police Department headquarters at 295 Police Memorial Drive, this is much more of an appropriate place to hold such of a protest. So there you have it, folks. It looks like they're going to create new laws specifically for these people. And it reminds me of what happened in Florida. After the Gabby Petito case, they introduced new laws, new policies that would stop people from doing basically what these people are doing outside of Quentin Simon's house. So what these people are doing, they are causing a change in these communities. They are making a change. These protesters, they're making a change. But they're not making the change that they um, set out to make or that they claimed to try to make. Instead, they're changing the laws and you know the rules around these areas as to what you can really do outside of these homes. I'm interested in seeing what they decide to do going forward and how these protesters respond to it. And it's like, on one hand, I agree with the right to protest. And you have to understand, agreeing with the freedom of speech and agreeing with the right to protest means agreeing with the right um, for someone to protest something that you don't agree with. So even if I don't agree with anything these protesters are doing, I agree that in America, as crazy as it may be sometimes, there is a right to do some of what they are doing. And even though I don't agree with the, some of what they're saying, and I do agree with some of what they're saying, even though I don't disagree, I, I, I don't agree with all of it, I agree with their right to say that. People have confused what the freedom of speech is and what your right is to, you know, peacefully protest. Even if you don't agree with the peaceful protest, if you agree with the right to protest, then you have to agree 
with the right for them to protest something that you don't agree with, if, if you understand what I'm saying here. So it's a convoluted, weird situation here. But I'm interested in seeing how all of this plays out going forward, because I think we were reaching a point. I think it's safe to say that we were reaching a boiling point, especially after today, when now you have counter protesters out there and you have an elderly woman having items yanked out of her hand for whatever reason, regardless of what she was doing or saying. I see people trying to make excuses, but the reality is, folks, that if an old woman is in my face right now saying Cinema Shogun is a piece of crap and I hope you do this and I wish death upon you and I say this or say that, that does not give me the right to snatch anything out of her hand or to yank anything away from her. And I would never do that, especially to an elderly woman. Now, if it was a dude in my face screaming things, it may be a different story. But I think it says something about your character to go over there and start yanking things out of the hands of an elderly woman, regardless of what she may or may not have been saying. So I think we all have to remember that here. You know what I mean? Like, there's no excuse for a grown man to be doing this to an elderly woman. So I think the situation was reaching a boiling point. And I feel like Chatham County Police Department feels like they have to do something quick before someone ends up really hurt. Because that's where this is leading. And regardless of who I agree with or who I disagree with, I don't want to see anyone out there hurt. And I really don't want to see people out there going to jail, even people who I may not like. I don't like seeing people go to jail, but that's what happens when you do the things that these people are doing. So it is what it is. I'm hoping that we see Leilani arrested because we're seeing all of these other people getting arrested and we're not seeing Leilani get arrested. And I feel like we're getting further and further away from the point of this story, which is where the hell is Quentin? You know, this is not really supposed to be about all of this other stuff, but this is what it's turned into. But I am here to follow this story through all of the twists and turns, so you don't have to. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below while you're down there. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.